Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi and we continue with our topic of discussion and we are discussing structure and bonding. Uh, in our previous uh, lesson, uh, we explained the trends of chlorides across uh, period three, whereby we saw that uh, sodium and magnesium chloride are neutral, uh, they dissolve in water to form neutral solutions. However, aluminum chloride uh, dissolves in water to form an acidic solution. And the reason for that is because aluminum chloride, as we explained, exists as a dimer molecule, a dimer molecule which when dissolved in water is hydrolyzed, is hydrolyzed uh, to release hydrogen chloride solution. And that's why we are getting the acidic solution in that particular case. So for now, uh, we are going to uh, discuss the bond types. We're going to discuss the bond types. and trends in period three chlorides. The period three chlorides and their trends. And we'll summarize that as a table. So we have the chloride So, so in terms of the chloride, we'll start with the physical state. The melting point in degree Celsius, the boiling point, uh, the structure, and then the bond type. the pH of solution and finally the effect of the effect on water. <clears throat> so the sodium chloride is a solid, solid, solid Silicon 4 chloride is also a solid. Phosphorus chloride is a liquid and sulfur chloride is a gas. The melting point 8, 1, 7, 14. So in the table, uh, that summarizes the bond types and trends in period three chlorides. Uh, we have sodium chloride and magnesium chloride. They are metallic chlorides and they are in solid state or they are solids. And the same case applies to aluminum chloride. So sodium chloride, magnesium chloride, and aluminum chloride, those are metallic chlorides and all of them are solids. However, uh, silicon 4 chloride, phosphorus 5 chloride, and sulfur chloride, uh, these two are liquids, while sulfur chloride is a gas. In terms of the melting point, uh, the first two, that is sodium and magnesium, their melting point and the boiling point is high because of the strong ionic bonds. They have ionic bonds. Uh, for aluminum chloride, the melting point is 180 at which it sublimes. 
hence the uh, letter S. So we are saying that uh, aluminium chloride sublimes on heating. When you heat it, it sublimes. And uh, remember, in Form 1, it's one of the substances that we mentioned that it sublimes on heating. Uh, silicon, phosphorus, and sulfur chlorides, they have very low uh, melting points and boiling points, of which we are saying that sulfur chloride decomposes when it is heated. In terms of the structure, sodium and magnesium chloride, giant ionic structure, they have ionic bonds. Uh, for aluminium chloride, we have said that it forms a dimer molecule, so it's molecular. The same case applies to silicon, phosphorus, and sulfur. So that's why I say that uh, aluminium chloride behaves like a non-metal, like the other non-metal. It doesn't behave like the metals. Yet we know that aluminium is a metal. Uh, the bond types uh, for the metals, it's ionic. Uh, the metal chlorides form ionic. But for aluminium chloride forms both ionic and covalent. That's why it's molecular. But all the other non-metals, they have covalent. In terms of the pH of the solution, Sodium chloride, magnesium chloride are neutral, but all the others are acidic. And the others are acidic because when you dissolve them in water, they become hydrolyzed. They become hydrolyzed to release hydrogen ions. And those hydrogen ions uh, reveal the acidity of the solution. So the effect of water, sodium and magnesium chloride, they just dissolve as as they are, as sodium chloride or as magnesium chloride. But uh, all the others are hydrolyzed. And that's why we are saying that the pH of the solution is acidic because on hydrolysis, uh, hydrogen ions are released, which are responsible for the acidity. So that being the case, uh, we can have an exercise. So in the assignment, uh, the first question, explain why uh, sodium chloride dissolves in water to form a neutral solution. The neutral solution has a pH of 7. And B, why aluminium chloride forms an acidic solution in water. Aluminium chloride is forming a solution with a pH of 3, which is uh, acidic. And number two, what is an amphoteric oxide? Three, write a balanced chemical equation for the hydrolysis of phosphorus 5 chloride. So we are going to stop there until next time. Goodbye.